Hello, everybody. This is a copy of the letter that I've been sending to every congressman and congresswoman in the United States of America, December 20th, uh, 2019. Greetings. If you're holding this letter in your hands, that means that it was not intercepted. That's good. My name is Nisim R. Lopez. I'm a 44-year-old Cuban-American artist based in Cutler Bay, Florida. I am contacting you in order to denounce a hideous crime that is being perpetrated against me here in USA. Contract stalking and electronic assaults sponsored by corrupt folks in positions of power. Yes, I am a watch-listed individual, a silent hit. I am an unwilling participant in an experimental government torture program. I've been exper experiencing organized harassment sponsored by the authorities since January of 2011 until the present, this thing ruined my life. You might be saying to yourself, what exactly is organized uh, harassment? Well, this is not easy to explain. Covert harassment, organized group stalking, community-based mobbing, proactive policing, or managed aggression is pretty much a form of political repression, extrajudicial punishment. Organized stalking is a secret program of the U.S. government designed to destroy targeted individuals emotionally and psychologically through dark neurolinguistic programming and negative aversive stimuli, trauma-based conditioning. We're talking here about a multi-layered interagency program. Law enforcement is behind this, the intelligence community is behind this, and contractors are behind this as well. Yes. We're talking here about the Fusion Center Crime Syndicate, DHS, the FBI, the high-tech militarized police, and the private sector. Humint, human intelligence, that's what they call it. How does the harassment work? Well, we're talking, we're talking here about heavy, overwhelming, multi-layered vigilante stalking. This is done to me every single time I go out into the general public. 365 days a year. Keep in mind that this has been going on since January of 2011 until today. The unjust systematic harassment is done by a group of people in an organized fashion using unethical means to torment, preoccupy, agitate, intimidate, and terrorize the isolated victim all the time, no matter where he goes. I'm talking about acts of provocation that are very well camouflaged street theater, invasion of space, intercepts, noise campaigns, vulgar, vulgar uh, gestures, mimicking, directed conversations, engineered collisions, orchestrated synchronicities, entrapment, etc. Obstruction of daily activities based on choice reference patterns. They, they know your precise coordinates at all times. You are under constant surveillance. The target is exposed to a stressor outside the range of usual human experience. He is kept in a state of anxiety and hypervigilance, in a state of functional disorientation, until he finally breaks down after years of indescribable psychological abuse. Basically, the harassment is meant to create a toxic artificial external reality that want to drive you insane. That's for damn sure. Most victims of this program end up homeless, in jail or in psychiatric institutions, isolated, with no support systems, with no support uh, system, relationships destroyed. Who are the agent provocateurs recruited by the authorities that constantly harass the targeted citizen in an organized fashion? They are called surveillance role players or confidential human sources. They believe they are patriots and heroes serving a noble cause. They come from all types of social backgrounds. These mindless automatons are brainwashed into believing that the target is a really bad person, a terrorist, a murderer, a sex offender, a wife beater, a drug trafficker, a thief, etc. A professional defamation campaign. These perps are enlisted through community programs such as InfraGuard, Citizen Corps, and Neighborhood Watch. 
they are compensated with cash and gift cards. We're talking here about a clandestine civil military operation. There is no doubt that the command station for organized talking is the fusion center. This is obvious. The primary multi the primary multi-agency intelligence sharing network in Florida is the Florida Fusion Center, Florida Department of Law Enforcement, which is located in Tallahassee. And the Fusion Center that is the closest to me is the Homeland Security Bureau Southeast Florida Fusion Center, which happens to be the Fred Taylor headquarters for the Miami-Dade Police Department. This centralized technology center has different operational sections. Who, who is in charge of the Southeast uh, Florida Fusion Center? Uh, Captain uh, Brian Rafke, that's his name. Overall, contract stocking is psychological warfare, a secret, illegal, long-term, unconstitutional surveillance program that is designed to neutralize outspoken, politically incorrect uh, free thinkers that are designated as enemies of the state, even if they are just innocent, harmless, law-abiding citizens that pose no real threat to anyone. Now, in case you wonder, they, they targeted me for the following reason. In late 2009, I made a politically incorrect presentation in Miami-Dade College Hialeah campus. I openly stated the September 11th was an inside job. On early 2010, they kicked me out of Miami Dade College under false accusations. They portrayed me as a terrorist. You know, they 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 painted me as an anti-American. Miami Dade College's threat assessment team they reported me either to DHS or to the FBI. I know for a fact that they spoke to the Hialeah police. The authorities opened an investigation. In 2009, they visited some of my closest friends and forced them to collaborate in covert operations, exposing me to situational and conversational scenarios, you know, to record me saying something out of line. These friends of mine felt threatened by the presence of the authorities. They couldn't tell me what was happening, and at the same time, they decided that they needed to get rid of me somehow. They all knew that I had been placed in a blacklist officially. They figured, this guy must never know that we conspired against him. He must never find out that we collaborated with the police. The so-called authorities, they couldn't find anything wrong with me. No criminal record. No drugs, no alcohol, no cigarettes, no drama, nothing. Just a guy into old school heavy metal rock. You see, Merciful Fate, King Diamond, my favorite bands. They decided to create a fake profile that would make me look like a deranged psychopath. Since I am into death metal, horror films, and controversial literature. They would portray me as a perver perverted serial killer type just because they could. They have the power and people believe whatever they say. They are experts when it comes to character assassination. So, on January of 2011, I began experiencing heavy, overwhelming, multi-layered, coordinated stalking. The harassment was very, very, very intense, unbearable. I found myself in a virtual concentration camp. On late December of 2012, I ended up in a psych ward in really bad shape. This is what they wanted, you know. <laughs> uh, so here's what this all comes down to. I've never done shit to anyone, but the government is working over time in order to put me in jail under a false narrative. They're going around spreading lies, brainwashing people into believing that I am a murderous sexual predator. Where is the tangible, verifiable evidence supporting these wild allegations? If their claims are true, why don't they arrest me? They harass, isolate, and terrorize innocent people, but they protect criminals like the, like the Boyton Beach cop Stephen Mayorino, who raped a woman at gunpoint a few years back. How come they don't put this guy in the targeted individual program and force him into involuntary celibacy? 
you know? I think that's a very valid uh, question. Errant day em emergency management vigilante hunters trying to make the world a better place. It is clear to me that these people in law enforcement and in the intelligence community are crooked. So, the leader of clandestine operations in the CIA, Elizabeth Kimber, she doesn't know anything about this nasty mind control behavioral modification program. General John W. Raymond, commander of the Air Force Space Command, he doesn't know anything about satellite weaponry and microwave bullets. The director of the Defense Intelligence Agency, Robert P. Ashley, he doesn't know anything about remote neuro monitoring and synthetic telepathy. The director of national intelligence, Joseph Maguire, he doesn't know that targeted individuals are being tortured with directed energy weapons forced to lash out. The director of the National Security Agency, Paul M. Nakason, he's never heard about the Signals Intelligence EMF Scanning Network. The Assistant Attorney General of the National Security Division, John Charles Demers of the Department of Justice. He doesn't know about this legalized lawlessness. The Director of the FBI's Terrorist Screening Center, Charles H. Cable. He doesn't know this horrendous surveillance abuse is taking place. The Undersecretary of Homeland Security for Intelligence and Analysis, David J. Glow. He doesn't know about this black ops. The president of the National Fusion Center Association, Mike Senna, he doesn't know anything about gang stalking. <laughs> of course, they all know this is going on. This is an unacknowledged special access program funded by the CIA, a military neuroscience experiment. They spend approximately a million dollars a year on each subject, on each targeted individual. They got mainstream media on a leash so that they don't spill the beans. The media outlets, you know, these are the gods of percep perception management, as I call them. The media outlets don't have a problem legitimizing the stories of U.S. diplomats harassed with microwave weapons in Cuba and in China. Yet, they refuse to validate the testimony of thousands of U.S. citizens that are being tortured with organized talking and electronic assaults. The puppet masters behind this personality disintegration program, because that's what it is, will do anything in order to justify a multi-billion dollar national security, counterterrorism, corporate, military, intelligence, police state complex. Multi-billion or multi-trillion? Who knows, you know? <laughs> I know for a fact that weapons manufacturers like Lockheed Martin benefit from this. So, you know, basically, this is a human rights injustice beyond words. You know, these are war crimes. So, my dear friend, I would like for you to think about something. The shadow government deep state criminal cabal is torturing me with classified military technology. They have me on remote neuro monitoring. I've been implanted with highly advanced nanotechnology that resonates with my biofrequency. NIH DARPA implants. So they have access to my unique brain signature. This is how they know my precise coordinates at all time, you know. It turns out that my, my, my brain has become, you know, a communications device, a broadcast antenna. Unbelievable. This means you know, in practical terms, that a guy sitting in front of a monitor in the intelligence section of the Homeland Security Bureau, Southeast Florida Fusion Center, can see my decoded thoughts in real time, audiovisual info in digital format. Not only that, handlers can also implant words, phrases, images, impulses, and videos into my psyche, especially when I'm asleep. This is called artificial telepathy. They do this to me every night, 365 days a year, a mind rape operation for them, sure, you know. They implant, you know, images of unnatural things, you know. So basically, the, the long term goal that these people have, you know, doing this shit to me is to modify me against my will and to turn me into an abomination, you know, 
a bizarre re-education strategy, an inversion process, you know, induced atrophy, you know, that's, that's what it is, basically. So, all, 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 my, all my mental data, all my psychic data is uploaded into their AI supercomputer that predicts behavior based on past choices. Basically, I'm a guinea pig, an expendable biospecimen in a secret military experiment. You know, electroencephalogram heterodyning, mind cloning. So here's a... <laughs> if they're doing this to me, and I am a nobody, because I mean, basically, I'm just an average guy, you know? I'm not a, a public figure or a famous person or or a politician or anything like that. I'm just a, a regular person. If they are doing this to me and I am a nobody, what's stopping the CIA from spying on the thoughts of President Trump? You know? I mean, all they really need in order to put a person on remote neural monitoring is a DNA sample. They implant the human test subject with invasive de devices, you know, nanotech. I mentioned that already. Once they get that DNA sample, they have access to your unique brain signature, which operates as an email address, biotelemetry, transmitter receiver, brain to computer interface, integration completion. They have a digital map of your brain, computer generated brain mapping. You know, in the same way that, that your, your fingerprints, you know, you are the only person in this planet that has you know, these fingerprints, you know, you know, using that analogy, your brain wave, you know, have a, have a signature that is unique. You're the only person on planet Earth that has that, that brain signature. So, you know, basically they implant you with the, the, the nanotech and uh, which resonates with your biofrequency and so that's how they have access to your unique brain signature, you know. And then the, 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 the you know, the nanotech amplifies basically those uh, electromagnetic frequencies and transmits that information, you know, to the, 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 the supercomputer, you know. So basically your brain operates as a communications device, as a broadcast antenna. I understand that this is hard to believe, but this technology is real. This is classified military technology. This futuristic te technology of DOD flavor is so powerful that they can even use it to control sleep patterns. They can deprive you of sleep if they want to. You know, they can inflict pain in any part of the body. They can target organs. They can also eliminate a person with an artificial heart attack that generates no forensic evidence. So we're talking here about an otherworldly technology that is years ahead of what people know. Black magic at the governmental level, you know, minority report type of shit, you know. The corrupt folks behind this interagency program must be exposed. They are trafficking the brainwave signatures of illegally targeted citizens, you know. Is this not predatory behavior, you know? Is this not modern day human trafficking? You know, all in the name of counterterrorism. <laughs> Keep in mind that there are thousands of targeted individuals in USA. I'm not the only one, you know, maybe even more than a million, you know. So, and then I end the letter like this. Thank you very much for your time. I apologize for any inconvenience. Bye. Signed, Mr. Nissin R. Lopez. <sighs> you know, to this day, I still can't believe that this shit happened to me in the United States. You know, unbelievable. Wish me luck.